Hey YouTube, I'm Brad Abster, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on pausing a UI view. Now, what pausing a UI view means is that, you know, say you're making a game for the iPhone and you have all these animations going on, and you need a way to pause something, you know, you know, you need a way to like pause all the animations at once without doing everything individually. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to tell you guys today. Now, if this code is it's pretty much a universal pause button, a pause feature for the um like for all animations and everything going on, and it's it's great for games and stuff. And I know a lot of people make games and they need a you know a good way to you know pause a game and unpause it. So I'm that's what I'm going to talk about today. So I'm going to start by making a new project using a single view application and naming it Pause UI View. All right. So first things first, I'm going to make brackets in my .h. I'm going to do something in my project settings. One second. And now I'm going to make three outlets here. I made everything in a text file, so make sure I don't forget anything. So make three outlets. IB outlet for a UI view. Well, you could also use any other UI object, really, it doesn't really matter. And I named it wheel. Um, and two IB outlets for UI buttons which is for a pause button and unpause button. Now I'm making IB outlets for UI buttons, you know, to able to, you know, set them hidden in certain situations just to make it easier for the user in the end. So yeah, so I named one pause button and unpause button. So then you're gonna declare these three methods in the dot H. Um, pause. Get rid of the ID sender part. And the other one will be resume. Now you're also going to declare these two void statements. And I'll read them off to you in one second. Alright, so one is a uh, void. Oh, there, semicolon. One is a void named pause layer colon start parentheses ca layer asterisk and parentheses layer semicolon. Another one is na as a void method named resume layer colon start parentheses ca layer asterisk and parentheses layer semicolon, and that's all you have to do in your dot h. Then you can just move to your dot m, and pretty much what you want to do is just copy over this code. I will read it off to you, and also I don't want to forget, but you have to also go to your project settings, go to your targets. Go to your build phases, go to the link binary with libraries, add one, and add the quartz core. There we go. Now in your dot m, you don't need to do it in your dot h, but in your dot m, import it. To import. It shouldn't be automatically fill fill in after q u, I think. So I'm going to read off the pause layer one first and then the resume layer afterwards. So the pause layer, pause layer is CF time interval space paused time space equals space start bracket layer space convert time colon CA current media time start parentheses end parentheses space from layer colon nil end bracket semicolon next line layer dot speed space equals space 0, 0.0 semicolon Next line, layer dot time offset space equals space pause time semicolon. And that's it for your pause method. Now onto the resume method. I'm gonna read it off to you guys. CF time interval space pause time space equals space start bracket layer space time offset start uh, end bracket semicolon. Next line, layer dot speed space equals space 1.0 semicolon next line layer dot time offset space equals space 0, 0.0 semicolon next line layer dot begin time space equals space 0, 0.0 semicolon next line cf time interval space time since pause space equals space start bracket layer space convert time colon ca current media time start parentheses and parentheses space from layer colon nil and bracket space minus or dash space pause time semicolon next line layer dot begin time space equals space time since pause semicolon and that's it for that for the resume method 
Now I'm going to import these two methods right um, IP actions right here. And I'm going to show you how to call it correctly. All right, so this is what you want to do when you want to pause it. You copy in this code. You're going to do this. Start bracket self space pause layer colon self dot view dot layer and bracket semicolon and then pretty much here I do this. I do unpause button set hidden no. All right. And the next line I do pause button set hidden yes. And that'll pretty much hide the pause button and show the unpause button just to make it easier for the user in the end. So then do this when you want to resume in your resume IP action. All right. So you can do start bracket self space resume layer colon self dot view dot layer and bracket semicolon. Next line start bracket unpause button space set hidden colon yes and bracket semicolon next line start bracket pause button space set hidden colon no and bracket semicolon all right and that's it for those two IB actions now I have a simple UI view animation here just to show you guys you know that it actually works so what this will do is first of all it will take my unpause button and set hidden to yes because we, we don't want the unpause button you know shown when the view first loads since it's not paused at that moment so pretty much we take the UI view that we made and we just spin it a little bit to the right and it'll have an a duration of three seconds and you'll see that it's paused and then unpaused when I show you so build that make sure there's no problems alright now move to your XIB Expand this. I'll make a button called pause and resume. Put it on either sides here. And now find the UI view object here in the right. Drag it in. I'll make it have a background of black. Go to your finals owner, exit out of the colors, go to your connections, and actually do this. Drag your pause button to the pause button, unpause button to the resume, wheel to the UI view, pause to here, touch up inside, and resume to resume, touch up inside. And make sure you have everything correct here on the right. It looks like we do. Build it. perfect and now we're going to build it in the simulator and you'll see here that it, here that it actually pauses very well and there's no problems whatsoever all right so you'll see here that the uh, image pretty much turns to the right and snaps back to the original position just an, on an infinity loop so here we have an option to pause it i'm going to wait for it to go to the middle and then you'll see here so it's pause. You see how it's like kind of like halfway through the animation. So now we have the resume button, and you'll see that it actually continues from where it left off, uh, finish the animation, then go back to the middle. See? And we could do it faster. All right. So that was pretty much my tutorial for today. This is my twelfth tutorial, I believe. And this week I'm going to have some more tutorials coming up. So just remember, I'm going to put the source code on Mega Upload and include it in the description. So, you know, just remember if you're making a game and you want a nice, easy way to pause um, your, all your animations and stuff in a method, just implement this code. It's the most efficient and easiest thing to do. So I um, hope you enjoyed it. Also remember that this will not work for Coco's 2D. That is something completely different. This will only work for UI Kit. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and, you know, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.